Hey guys, what's up? I'm Alex, and today I'm going to be reviewing Vidar the Vampire. I think it's pronounced Vidar. It just came out this week on VOD. I rented it on Vudu. I don't think it's available on Amazon yet. It's presented by Dread Central, and I actually found them through Terrifier, which I loved. I stopped to review that one, and I love vampire movies, so any new vampire movie, of course, I want to see. And the trailer looked really interesting. I'll link the trailer down below if you want to check it out. It's written and directed by Thomas Asperger and Frederick Waldeland, and it stars Thomas Asperg as Vidar, who looks a lot like Billy Burke. Actually, he looks like his doppelganger, you know, Billy Burke from Lights Out and Twilight. He actually posted a video on Dread Central's IG um, saying that Norwegians really don't um, make vampire movies, so he wanted to make his own, so I thought that was really cool. We should just make our own movies. That's a great idea. So it's a Norwegian horror comedy and it's in subtitles. So it's about a 33 year old Christian farmer named Vidar. He lives with his mom and he's the one maintaining the farm. And I'm not sure if his mom is ill or just lazy, but he does most of the work on the farm. He doesn't have any friends, he doesn't have a girlfriend, his life is really lonely and all he has are his Playboy mags. So one day he has a breakdown and he prays to God, you know that he's sick of his life, he wants God to change his life for him. Then there are these dreamlike montages that happen, and there's a vampire who's apparently Jesus. I thought this scene was really well done, it looked like under the skin, and then he wakes up and he's a vampire. And the story is told through flashbacks, um, he's on the couch with his psychiatrist, and he's wearing like this goofy silver um, space suit so he doesn't burn in the sun. His psychiatrist is played by Kim Sonderholm, he does a good job. He's basically playing a Christian Slater type role in Interview with a Vampire, but he's funny like during the session he rolls his eyes a lot and he mumbles something under his breath. You can tell that he doesn't believe him. He doesn't believe that he's a vampire. So my thoughts on it are I liked it a lot. It was weird. It's um, tongue in cheek and it's also really sad and it doesn't take itself too seriously. It's kind of like uh, the humor in My Boyfriend's Back. Serious things will happen but, but nobody reacts as if it was a drama. Like there's a scene with a bloody tampon and in another movie it would be really crass but in here it's just hilarious. And there was nudity in it, but it was never vulgar. It also features religion in a comedic way. And I'm not religious, and I think actually organized religion is scarier than actual horror. And there's a scene, I think it's in the trailer, where Vidar rises out of his coffin, and it's just so funny because he's all like bandaged up. I found that whole church scene really funny. So I think Thomas played Vidar really well, like you really felt sorry for him. He didn't really ask to be turned into a vampire, he just wanted a more fulfilling life. And there's like this really sad scene where he hires a prostitute to hang out with him and he's like, just pretend you like me. That was like really sad and they were um, playing Goodnight Irene or a version of Goodnight Irene in it. And the other main character is Vampire Jesus played by Bright Scredding Land. I don't know if I'm pronouncing any of these names right. I feel like I'm reading my Ikea cat catalog at these names. Um, I really didn't understand his character. He was just like this sleazy vampire Jesus. I think he thought that turning him into a vampire would fix his problems, but I don't think he really understood Vidar. So there's a scene where Vidar is in an alcoholics uh, support group and he's just ranting and he says this line, um, something like Jesus and Lucifer are one in the same. I thought that line was brilliant. The whole thing could be like a metaphor for vices. So I'm not gonna give grades on movies anymore. I'm just gonna like recommend it or not recommend it. And this one I definitely recommend. It is subtitled so if you don't speak Norwegian you have to read really fast because they talk really fast and I felt like the subtitles were just zoom zoom zoom. I actually had to watch it twice. Um, just to, to see if I missed anything. I think it is low budget, but it doesn't look like it. Like, I never felt like it was like a $20 movie, you know? Like, it felt like they utilized their budget well. And the music is great in it. It adds to whatever is going on. So if you're into the vampire genre, I definitely recommend watch watching this. Um, it's it's very different from any vampire movie that I've ever seen. I like that it doesn't glamorize vampires. Vidar doesn't sparkle. He doesn't have this magically coiffed hair and instant swagger after turning. Actually, he's wearing like this weird blue um, snowsuit. I think it's a snowsuit in the whole movie. And he looks so goofy, but it, it's so funny. And um, actually, I think after becoming a vampire, it, it, made him wor it made it worse than before for him. And it ends abruptly and it's kind of sad. You felt sorry for his character and you're rooting for him and it, it's, it's sad. 
So check it out, it's on VOD right now. I'm doing uh, horror reviews uh, weekly, and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.